Now then, a mystery of modern times. Uh, this is a crop circle. It's uh, a focus of controversy for the last 15 years. What made it? Who made it? What's behind the whole crop circle conflab? Before I tell you what we think, let's meet someone with a very keen interest in the phenomenon. He was once something of a phenomenon himself. <laughs> it's difficult to say twice. The dynamic singer with the trogs, the composer of this year's top single, Love Is All Around, that kept wet, wet, wet at number one for an amazing 15 weeks, and the original Wild Thing from Darkest Andover, Reg Presley. Welcome to the programme. Hi, Phil. So you're a believer. Yes, I am. Right. Yes. And you've invested not uh, a small amount of money in, in... I should imagine it tops up to about 5,000 over the past four years. So what, with... what makes you think, then, that, that they are genuine? Well, one of the first things that got to me was the fact that as the crop lays down and uh, you examine this, it's exploded, as it were, from the inside out from the, the little nodes that right. go up the plant. And also, you get uh, four... Uh, pieces of corn, if you like, four rows of corn. And when you plant those, that, that corn, the following year you get a whole new plant. It's like 10% higher. And also you get six rows of corn at the top of the plant. And you can grow it in any kind of soil. It's, it's as though it's got new energy. You know? So what do, you, what do you think is causing crop circles? Well, from all, from everything I know uh, and what I've seen throughout the four years, it seems to be something that is airborne, and it's as though a high energy is passed through there, like a, a microwave or something like that. Because anything longer than a sort of nanosecond of this electricity, and the plants themselves will catch on fire. So it has to be a small, small amount of, of energy passing through to actually do it, and you don't get that just by laying down a. a, a, a set of corn, you know, for any reason. You right. don't get that. So you're, you're a true believer. Let's have a look now at the, uh, at the other side of the coin. We wanted to show you a crop circle being made. We could, of course, have taken our cameras into a cornfield and waited for a circle to be created. Naturally, we're probably out there waiting now. Instead, Karen Keating went to a farm in Buckinghamshire and met up with Doug Bauer, man with a mission. Hi, Doug. Now listen, this is an extraordinary thing to do as a sort of hobby. When did you start making crop circles? Well, the late 70s, about 1978. And why? Well, I wanted people to think that a UFO had landed during the night. We had to create something that was circular, but of course UFOs were known to be circular then, or believed to be circular. And I thought if we created a circular mark in a cornfield, by the next morning the uh, general public uh, would think that uh, a UFO had landed during the night. So it started off as one huge practical joke, really? Well, it's all, all a bit of fun, really, yes. I mean, after we'd had a pint of beer and a chat in the pub, and uh, we thought this up, and... Um, we thought it would uh, give them a bit of a mystery, something to look at, something to measure up. And uh, lo and behold, you, you know as well as me that uh, what happened after that. Well, you certainly started something huge rolling. <laughs> How many do you reckon you've made over the years? Well, for the first years, we just did one on a Friday night. And um, the season, I suppose, would be about uh, 10 to 12 weeks. So you can reckon on about uh, 12 circles for the first few years. But um, my wife didn't know anything about this for seven years, but it was rather a good thing when she did get to know because it enabled us to go out several evenings a week instead of one. <laughs> so therefore, the, uh, the amount of crop circles increased as the, uh, as the years went by. Now, you can't possibly be responsible for all the crop circles that have been made, so how do you explain the others? Well, about six years ago, the hoaxers, as we call them, from Wiltshire, they started copying us, which was made us very sad, really, because uh, we had it all to ourselves for quite a number of years. <laughs> And um, they are still continuing it today. Who they are, I don't know. Now, what do the experts have to say about you and your crop circles? Um, it's got to be something genuine as far as they're concerned because it's such a lucrative industry now. Uh, but if you want my opinion of it, it's, uh, it's, it's just a bit of fun. And, I mean, it, it's flattened corn. I mean, let, 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 they say it's, it's uh, aliens from outer space, a lot of these people. But if they have the technology to come through hundreds or thousands of light years to visit this planet. What on earth are they doing trampling around in cornfields at night doing these silly patterns? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. At least you've had a good laugh over the years. Listen, you say you make it with this stick yes. and this hat, an extraordinary sort That's of um, right. yes. eyepiece here. Can, I, can you show me how to make one? Yes, well, this sight, you see, uh, this, this enables us to make a straight line in the, in the dark, or, or semi-darkness. It's never really dark in the summer months. Yeah. And if you, if you line up um, a telegraph pole or a cottage window, a bedroom window that's uh, lit up, you can walk straight towards it and create a straight line in the corn. And then you can tread this down with the, with the stick afterwards and um, create the corridors, as they call them, 
uh, before you do the circles. And that's all there is to it? That's all there is to it. Well, let's see you go and make one then. Right. This should be interesting. <laughs> So obviously we speeded that up. It took Doug about uh, 15 minutes to do that particular crop circle. And he also lays claim to some of the, the famous ones that we've seen in magazines and books and things. So what do you, what do you say to that? Well, the incredible thing is that uh, two uh, rescue helicopters were flying back across Vancouver Island uh, over a forest. And they saw trees this round bent in a spiral. How did Doug get over there and to do that? <laughs> I, I just don't understand this. It's incredible. I mean, I had one skeptic uh, that really didn't believe at all in this. And he was called to a farm to mend combined harvesters, right? And uh, when he arrived, he saw a huge crop formation in the field and said to the farmer, I see you've got one of those hoaxes on your land. He said, you think they're hoaxes? He said, don't you? And he said, uh, well, what makes you think? He said, look, he said, just stay here tonight. He said, what time do you finish? He said, normally I pass five. He said, stay till six and keep looking up. So the guy did, he undid his flats and sat there in the nice sunlight as it, you know, was getting dark and uh, watched a flock of geese go over, which actually turned and went round the crop formation straight on. Now, this guy didn't believe in it. Well, there you yeah. go. That's the other side of the story. So you've seen Doug's side, you've seen Reg's side. Reg, thank you very much. They don't much go round roundabouts, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> thank you very much for, uh, for arguing the other side there. That's great. There are still questions to ask about crop circles. Let's try and answer a few tonight. Have you more inside information on how they happen? Any pet theories? Perhaps you have proof that they're not all hoaxes after all. 0700... 7, oh, oh, 700. <laughs> Nearly a free number then. 071 757 7000. You'll get charged for it if it's cheap on a Sunday. 0 Seven one seven five seven seven thousand. If you know something, we would love to hear from you, especially if you're one of the hoaxers from Wiltshire. Now is your time to come clean. Now some more news.